Not many think of the 1940s as an era of science. Little did we know, the 40s would bring surprising innovations that would later bring lasting benefits to our society. One of these surprising innovations was styrofoam, discovered by the Dow Chemical Company back in 1941. It's 1941. We are in Dow Physics Laboratory in Midland, USA. A scientist, Ray McIntyre, is trying to make polystyrene flexible enough to coat radio and radar cables. He's going to try mixing styrene and isobutane in a reactor under high pressure and heat it. He knows something similar was done before by Swedish inventor Carl Georg Munter. Success! He's reduced the pressure in the reactor and the isobutane has vaporized, leaving extruded polystyrene foam behind. Dow knew it was onto something and in 1946, the Styrofoam brand was born, bringing this new discovery to the market. And what a great material it has proved to be. It's 98% air, so it's really lightweight and buoyant. It's got a closed cell structure, meaning it's really strong. It's moisture resistant, making it suitable even for exposed conditions. It's got very low thermal conductivity, meaning heat is slow to pass through it and it can easily be cut into different shapes, which is why it is easy to install. Today, styrofoam extruded polystyrene has multiple uses, with improving energy efficiency of buildings, with supporting the fight against climate change top of the list. Around the globe, it's even used as insulation material in motorhomes and caravans as well as in refrigerated trucks for keeping food on the move cool and fresh. It's used for keeping our highways and tunnels safer by reducing ice formation to insulating pipes that carry vital services such as water. It's even used to build fabulous movie sets and in flower arrangements. Today, the factory scale process is rather different from those early lab and field experiments. Dow is working towards converting all styrofoam production plants to be hydrochlorofluorocarbon free, helping protect our world's environment. It's not only great for keeping your house warm, but also helping you save on energy bills and supporting the fight against climate change. In Europe, its latest technology even includes invention of a new extruded polystyrene material, Xenergy, which includes infrared blocking particles to reflect heat radiation making it an even better energy saver. And Styrofoam and Xenergy are reusable and fully recyclable at the end of their life. 75 years later, Styrofoam's discovery is still a remarkable point in history. Did you know that it insulates the entire Napoleon Yard, home of the iconic glass pyramid in front of the Louvre? It also insulates the Paris Philharmonique and the School of Architecture of Nantes. It has also been featured in the Museum K. Branly in Paris and helped build the Domu supermarket parking and several passive houses in France. It's also featured on roof insulation in the London 2012 Olympic Stadium and the Olympic and Paralympic Village, now energy efficient residential accommodations. And since 1983, Dow has donated styrofoam through its partnership with Habitat for Humanity to help insulate homes around the world reducing energy bills for homeowners and helping make the possibility of owning a home a reality. And what does this all come back to? Well, the wonders of chemistry and innovation, of course. And now we're looking forward to continuous reinvention of a material that's already proved to be so adaptable for so many different uses. Now our building scientists have the most exciting challenge to look forward to. Where will chemistry take styrofoam next?